Did you know that during World War II, a friendly fire incident nearly killed the President of the United States? In November of 1943, Franklin D. Roosevelt was secretly traveling to the Tehran Conference to meet with British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and Soviet Premier Joseph Stalin, the first of several meetings involving the big three Allied leaders at the height of World War II. The President was aboard the battleship USS Iowa and once out in the open ocean of the Atlantic, the Commander-in-Chief requested a demonstration of the vessel's defensive capabilities. The destroyer USS William D. Porter, one of three vessels escorting the President, was tasked with firing a simulated torpedo at the battleship. Except that's not what happened. The Willie D, as she was known, fired a live torpedo straight at the Iowa and the President of the United States, who was watching the action topside. The primer was supposed to have been removed, rendering the torpedo unable to launch. But the Willie D's crew was made up of extremely new sailors, and Chief Torpedoman Lawton Dawson forgot to disconnect it. As the warhead began gathering speed, the Willie D attempted to warn the larger warship of the danger heading its way. There was just one problem. German U-boats were prowling the ocean, and the convoy was under strict orders to maintain radio silence. The destroyer attempted to get the Iowa's attention using signal lamps. When that didn't work, the porter's captain broke radio silence and alerted the Iowa to the incoming danger. Roosevelt's response was to ask his Secret Service attendee to move his wheelchair closer to the railing so that he could see the underwater missile, which was closing fast. As the Iowa began taking hard evasive maneuvers, it trained its giant guns on the William D. Porter. Many on the Iowa Bridge feared that the smaller vessel may have been compromised and complicit in an assassination plot. Thankfully, the torpedo detonated just a thousand or so yards from the Iowa's stern when it struck a heavy wave created by the battleship's wake. The porter was ordered to nearby Bermuda, where her entire crew was placed under arrest, the first and only instance in U.S. naval history of such an occurrence. Ultimately, only torpedoman Dawson was found guilty of gross incompetence, both of neglecting to remove the primer and of trying to conceal the evidence by throwing it over the side of the ship. He was sentenced to 14 years of hard labor, but the Democrat FDR intervened and ordered that none of the Willie D's crew members were to be punished. From that day on, other vessels routinely greeted the destroyer with a message, don't shoot, we're Republicans. Stay curious, my friends.